Welcome back to the channel and on this episode I'm going to continue a series that I do from time to time on this channel which is highlighting African American designers. Kind of a Black History 365 type thing and on this particular episode I am going to do a design and talk about one Gail Anderson. As with all the other ones that I've done thus far, I have to give a shout out to Glenford Lafton of Lafton Creatives, whose blog posts about African-American graphic designers that we all should know has served as a major inspiration for me. And also Gail Anderson's own website. Both of those are in the description down below. But yes, Gail Anderson, known for her uncanny ability to create expressive dynamic typefaces suited perfectly to their subject, Gail Anderson is a designer and teacher with an impressive tenure in the field to date. Born and raised in New York, her ever-burning curiosity about design began in her teen years and was cemented in her studying at the School of Visual Arts in New York. It was there where she began to develop her own methodologies and no holds barred approach to design. Through 2002 to 2010, she served as creative director of design at Spotco, a New York City advertising agency that creates artwork for Broadway and international theater. From 1987 to 2002, she worked at Rolling Stone Magazine, serving as a designer, deputy art director, and finally as the magazine's senior art director. Early in her career, she was a designer at the Boston Globe Sunday Magazine and Vintage Books. Praised as the quintessential collaborator for her inclusive, expressive, and encouraging attitude towards working together. Anderson also admits that many of her high-octane designing occurred at night, solo. Whether it's her collaborative work or solo projects, her magazine layouts, design theatrical posters, her designs work with and for her subjects and always emphasize the highest potential. She's received major awards from major design organizations, including the Society of Publication Designers, Type Directors Club, the American Institute of Graphic Arts, Arts Director Club, Communication Arts, Print, etc., etc. She is the co-author with Stephen Heller on the upcoming The Typographic Universe, as well as The New Modernist Type, The New Ornamental Type, The New Vintage Type, Astounding Photoshop Effects, American Type Play, The Savage Mirror, and Graphic Wit. She's a contributor to Imprint and Undercase, Uppercase, excuse me, magazine as well. She teaches at the School of Visual Arts, uh, MFA, undergrad, and high school design programs. She has served on the advisory boards of Adobe Partners by Design and the Society of Publication P Designers. I was about to say Publications Managers because that's what I do for a living. She currently serves as on the board for the Type Directors Club and is a member of the Citizen Stamp Advisory, a committee of the United States Postal Service. Man. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to watch the other videos in the Black Designer History series. And let me know in the comment section down below which designer would you like to see me highlight next. Remember, as you go along in life, teach as you learn and inspire as you do. See you next time.